it's been a while since we've done a video so um, we're back we're gonna do an oil change on the RSX and uh, there's something over there like peeking from behind the tree Chris's car that he doesn't drive All right what you need to take it to a meet or something All right, we're, we're gonna wait to do the oil change we're peeling the wheels because I'm gonna paint them what color am I going to paint? Pink. They're going to go pink. No. Uh, we'll show you the color when we paint them. But right now they're plastic dip and we're trying to peel it off. Horribly. Yeah. Don't plastic dip wheels yet. No, always plastic dip wheels. It's the best way to go. So the, the quick release kit on the bumper comes in handy. And we need to lift it up. This is the progress of the rims. The wheels, I mean, you got Jesus. Jesus, uh. You're tightening it. How am I tightening it? That's left. That's not left. Progress of this wheel? How is it not left? You can only turn the a turn. Pass it to me? This way. That's why I told her. I told you. No, because under here. Without telling you, right. you were tightening it still. Okay, hold on. It doesn't matter if you were under there or not. The drain bolt is right there where Chris is. You can see it. I hate and, this ratchet. Uh, yeah, we're trying to loosen it. Chris's muscles are coming in handy. No <laughs> muscles. There's no room. There's no muscles either. Put the pole. I could tell it. I hate All right, well, I got the Valvoline oil, full synthetic 10W30, and the Mobile One filter. And um, Chris, you want to tell them what, what you found down there? What is that? It's like, it's oh. locked. It's locked, I did. There's some nice syrup coming out of the engine. They also need a nice rag. Um, it's over okay. here. You can get it yourself. We got Chris, the auto mechanic. We're going to be, we're certified tech lube under here. Alright, so what you do with this oil is you put it back in the container. And then, what do you do, Chris? Take it to your local auto You take it to your local auto parts? No, you put it in the trash can. No. When you do an oil change, you guys need to make sure that you get the oil and dispose of it properly. Don't be throwing it in the trash. Take it to your Lolo. Lolo. Lolo, yeah. <laughs> Lolo. Cut, cut, to, cut to Chris. Cut, throw cut. Get it. Uh, yeah, take it to your local auto parts store and they'll dispose of it for you. Just like when you change the coolant, don't be throwing it on the floor or in the trash or... In the grass. I throw it in the floor. Hey, I, I set out <laughs> bowls of coolant for cats to drink. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> he said that? I didn't. Yeah, well, this is the progress. Only two wheels have been slightly peeled. And we got all Jesus. We have Jesus with the brace. Because Robocop. He's a Robocop now. So what happened. Cut to the video, I say. So that's what happened? Yeah. All right. Same noise and everything. Oh. What are you talking about? There's something wrong with this key. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we're done with the oil change. We're not going to put oil in there. Just cap it back up and let's drop it. And we'll put the same one back in there. Yeah, we're just going to filter it real quick. We're hey, just going to change the filter. Chris, I'm going to start dumping oil on it. Surprisingly, the um, and, oil filter came out real fast. And now we're going to finish the oil change since the uh, hardest part was done. Take a picture. Alright, so here's a little update we got. Mikey's out here taking off the lug nuts and piece of advice, don't ever plastic dip your wheels and just paint them, they look nicer. And it won't look like this, like all, all chafas and cheap, you know? All chafas and cheap? Yeah, so then... Oh, wait, where am I going? Oh yeah, over here. As you can see, like, I see why he plastic dipped them. They looked a little ugly. But, like, if I were him, I would just painted them regularly. It's like $4 a can, and you probably get better results. So, that's what I got to say. He could have done a better job, but, yeah. Here we have Mikey. Meow. <laughs>
Boom, traded the Miata for a truck. Uh, we got my nice wheels right here. Oh, ugly. So we, this is why, why he probably plastered it. Just, nah, they're nice like this, bro. Straight yep. on, man. Look who decided to show up. Well, he's been here for a while. <laughs> Chris let him drive the Cobalt. How's the ride on the Cobalt? My back hurts. <laughs> stiff like or what? No, it bounces a lot. When they get stiff, no rub. All right, well. The plan of painting the wheels didn't go through. We did the oil change. And uh, let me show you the progress of where the wheels are at. Um, oh, that's the oil. Finish the oil. That one, there's one black one, and the other ones are like this. Yeah, these are the, the ricey wheels. Yeah, I, I do not like that. Maybe if they were, instead of having the black inside, and they were all aluminum, or, uh, that would be, I would have left it, but maybe clean the engine a bit, and uh, yeah, so there's going to be a part two to doing the wheels, we're going to sand them and then paint them in a special color, it's probably not, it's not that special, but we'll figure it out. Oh, no.